Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Yeah, baby! Again, we've always said it, you don't need to go anywhere far, you know, to make a hunting adventure. Get the family out there, get them to enjoy it and understand it, and you know what? We'll have this for the future. Ralph! Gonna be late, Ralph. Welcome to this week's The Choice, and this week, well, we're doing something a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, different. Little, no pun intended, Squirrel Master Classic with our gamos. We headed down south with everybody, and I'm going to tell you something. This is the first time we've ever experienced anything, anything like this. Anything like this. I mean, we squirrel hunt at home in Illinois, and we've got big squirrels. Big, big but squirrels. We went down, we got invited down to the Squirrel Master Classic for the first time, and we weren't really sure what to expect. I mean, we were down there with Jackie and everyone, and... It was crazy, but the really cool thing was it was with a bunch of 4-H kids too, so. It, it, and that's what it's about, and I mean, to share that with everyone and, and to make it fun and a little competitive, because none there of was, us are competitive. There was just a little bit of competition going no, on between television us. shows down there. Just no. How are you? I'm Beth. Nice to meet you, Beth. Beth Malik. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is that good? Am I legal? You're legal. You're good. It's that time of year again for the Squirrel Master Classic by Gamo. The hunting competition takes the best hunters and the hunting personalities from the top hunting TV shows and pairs them with different 4-H kids, media editors, and Gamo executives. The teams will then compete in an all-star squirrel hunting competition. Welcome to the event. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Hey, buddy. Chanson. Nice to meet you, brother. Our team here. Cool. We're going to have some fun. Do you shoot well? Are you, are you ready to oh, he's a good shot. Okay, oh, yeah. good, because I need help because Ralph's on our team. <laughs> okay. So what we're doing with 4-H, so we've had 4-H deer hunts, which both the girls got a buck and a duck. We've got the squirrel hunt, we've got a, a quail hunt we're doing with them, and then we've got a fishing deal and a turkey deal. Oh, wow. And then we're bringing them into the expo, our big Buckmaster yeah, Expo. Yeah, And they have an archery gamo, uh, pellet gun, archery, and shotgun competition with 500 kids from 14 wow. different states. So That's awesome. Very That's involved. our future, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Sooner or later, I'll be able to suck my gun in. See what I'm gonna do with it. We'll see. You see this? This is why I don't go to Disney World because when you go in the line, they got that little measuring stick. I can't go on any of the rides. I feel the same here. Right now, it looks like we're hitting right here. Both shots are right there. So I'd say we're two inches high at 35 yards. Right there. You stink. You stink. I can't see it. You know what? You better sleep with that gun tonight. That's all I'm, I'm going to say. You. you better go to bed with that gun tonight. You see? You see? We're getting the warning signs. The warning signs are don't leave your gun anywhere because Jackie will send all his little guys right. to come take our stuff. You just thought this was a fun event. Yeah. Negative. We're kicking butt and taking no name. I'll tell you that right now. There's going to be bruising going on, and it ain't going to be me. Hair low. Just, just, Again, just a hair. Just a hair. He's not on our team, but he's helping us. Hey, I'm a friend. You yeah, are a friend, and I appreciate that. <laughs> you know what's really cool? When you got the best shooter in the world, and he's sighting in Vicky's, and we're all sitting, we, we, we got oh, like our lead sleds, our call, right. and everyone's resting and all sighting in. Trying to get, you know, a good And Doug group. walks up and goes, Oh, you need help? And he freehands it. Freehands it. And, and shoots it better than I do on the lead sled. <laughs> yeah, you're low. low. I am low. So, okay, good. So it's not. Oh, no, you're low. Okay. You're two and a half inches low. The guy is a shooting machine. He said he was kind of off because he had iced tea that day. Yes. Yeah. I mean, my hold right now, I have. Big glass ice tea on the way in, so I'm a little, but my hold's low, still probably an inch at that distance. Doug, man, give us some love. Teach us. Please teach us. He needs help. Yeah, come marry. I didn't even see that one. Straight in the middle. You are steady. It is. 
and you didn't use a rest. We're here in Alabama at the Gamble Squirrel Master Classic. Good Squirrel job. Master Classic. He's been, God, he's been dang. practicing it all day long. We've had a long day to get to this point. We just yeah. sighted in our gamos. We have found out a few things were the newbies here this year at the Classic. You know, Jackie Bushman's running this, so you know what's going to happen. Yeah, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be things leaning the wrong direction. Jackie's um, going to have his turtleneck. He's going to chase him. He's going to be afraid of snakes, and he's going to have the sweet spot. And he told us newbies, good luck. He said, you're from the north. <laughs> You should have stayed there. You know, we should have brought some of our own squirrels. With daybreak just around the corner, teams fill up with a hearty breakfast in preparation for the Gamo Squirrel Master Classic. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, especially for Ralph, who seems to be running a little late. I'm not late. I've been here for hours. <laughs> You've been here for hours? Yes, sir. We are ready to rock and roll. Everybody else, Michael and everyone's scared. They're scared yeah. because, yeah, the northern boys are in, nor northern folks are here. It's the Squirrel Master Classic in Gamma. Are you ready? This is Chanston, and he is our 4 h -er, and we are going to win this, aren't we? Yeah? Smile. But Come on, let me see some teeth, all brother. The shooting, right? Yeah, you're doing all the shooting. Yep. You got a We're gamble just... gun that's like almost a repeater because I saw how fast you could shoot. Load and shoot, load and shoot. Go. And it's early, and I honestly never thought we'd be up this early for squirrels, but We're we are. Far for squirrels. <laughs> and we just want to show all the other teams what what they their their signal they have to hold up. See, he's not very. Squirrel. No, it's an L. <laughs> There's an L. No, yeah, it would, that would be an L. That's that, it. That's nothing. <laughs> He took us to his secret spot. Look at he's ready. He's ready, so are we. All right, gonna just bark. So we are heading towards where the barking's coming at, which means there should be a squirrel. So let's go get him. There's a nest up there. He's in the nest. Oh, yes! <laughs> Andy, yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, tag, Ralph. Got to tag it. Okay, bada bing, baby. All right, we have the number one tag, and it's being used. You have a blood trail at much? <laughs> Yeah, baby. Oh, there he goes. Here it comes. Good shooting. Good job. <laughs> Come on, brother. Good shooting. You know, we're just walking and talking. The dogs tell you, hey, walk this way. You cut right through the swamp. You got two playing up in the tree. And then you got like seven of us playing down Here. on the ground. And guess what? Yeah, hold it With up. our gamos, we won. Because now he's a champion of school. That's it. Yeah, now we gotta tag him. We're up to three. You know, it was really cool with Chance, I mean, to see his excitement. He got, he got, you know, when he shot his squirrel, it was, it was made me miss RJ. Yeah, it was pretty cool to have him out there in the 4 H. But it was fun. It was, it was great, great experience. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, those guns can shoot squirrels pretty dang far. Yeah. Never thought that. All right, let's go find four through 40. Teams have hit the woods at the Gamo Squirrel Master Classic, and the competition is fierce. Ralph, Vicky, and the team already have a few squirrels in the bag, quite literally. With a harvest limit of 40, they have plenty of room for more. We see him? I see him now. He's way up on top. Oh, 
them. There's one. There's one. There he goes. Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> Good shooting, guys. That there is what it's all about. <laughs> to watch those dogs do what they do, I mean, you watch, the dogs would come in, and all of a sudden, they're running around trees. They get a, they get a scent. And then they run to where the the squirrel, the you know where the squirrel was. And then they, once they think they're in the tree, they start looking up, barking, and they see them way before we do. It's amazing. It's kind of like you. You like go outside, and the fall temperatures are coming down. And all of a sudden, you you start sniffing, you start running around the woods trying to find something. You find a tree that you want to sit up in. Kind of reminded me of you. I don't care who you are, but. You're a deer hunter, and it's even after season, and you see something like that, it's got you jacked. You guys find one? How'd you guys do here, Andy? Nothing here. How about it? Well, we got a new call. It's called Pocket Squirrel. Yeah, we gammatized him. I love it. Yep. Beautiful little fox squirrel. The teams head back to the lodge for the afternoon weigh-in and must be back by 11.30 a.m. to avoid disqualification. Ralph and Vicky's team has played by the rules but Ralph isn't so sure about some of the other teams. It's about to get ugly now because the competition is fierce. Everybody just pulled in for the weigh-in and we just, saw, we just saw bone collectors put a raccoon in their bag. Raccoon. Can I borrow a, can I borrow a squirrel? Just want to get, no, no, we just want to no, get a good camera shot. Squirrel. We just need a good camera squirrel. shot. If I can borrow one squirrel, two squirrels maybe. That's right, you all get tight, that's right. Okay, we're gonna take so each 4-H kid is going to bring up the squirrels. We'll take them out and we'll put them in this camo bag and we will weigh them. And Kim will put up how many squirrels and the pound. Archer's choice. Woo! Come on, Jason. Oh. Archer's choice. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this Seven. one. Nine. Nine. Okay, it's the, the afternoon. It's, it's the second afternoon part hunt. of the squirrel hunt. Yes, and we've got our gamos, and we are ready to rock and roll. All right, so we got to go get busy. Chips are on. down, and we'll eat the chips. No, we're not eating chips. <laughs> They say, though, if, if lead's not flying, nothing's dying. Yep, it probably looked like an asteroid field because we had pellets flying everywhere. And, and I mean, their squirrels are like this big. Ours. What's an asteroid field look like? Yep, I see him. Got him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, baby. Bam, good job. Got him. We are having a blast. It's just fun 
it's great to share it with everybody and everybody has the common goal. We want to kick the snot out of all the other teams, but <laughs> this is fun. We got one squirrel in this early afternoon hunt and we still got the rest of the afternoon. Hit him right now. There he comes. He's coming. Is that a big one up there? Nope. Is he up in that? Why? Got him. Oh, oh. oh. He's gonna weigh a little extra. That's all right, we need it. Well, it is 5.30 and Time is done, huh guys? Yep, yep. can't hunt any past 5.30. Our guns have to be put away, so we gotta head back to the truck and then we're gonna head to camp. We can't thank everybody enough, especially Gammo, and you know what? We'll have this for the future. How you flying, you? kids? Grab hey. your squirrels. Excuse me, I'm interrupting you, okay? <laughs> Here we go. One. Two. Excuse me here, we don't do number one. Ah! <laughs> like I said, y'all are hunting pig man property next yeah. year. Enjoy your trophy. Yeah. We came, yeah, yeah. We, saw, we saw, and we, we got, got conquered. But that's okay, you know what, we, we came in fourth, and there yeah. were six teams, so I mean, you know, for newbies, first time coming down here, we didn't do, we didn't do that bad. No. Man, we had and we a had a flat time. tire, we, did. And we had a lot of fun, and Jansen had a great time too. It's our first time down here, you know, we figured we, we gotta take it easy on them. You hear people say, Great Southern hospitality. Absolutely. They proved it once again. I mean, I mean, it was just, it was a blast. And us Northerners, we'll be there again. I have to admit, we we were thinking this is crazy. We're we're traveling down to Alabama yeah. to hunt squirrels with everybody, but we had a blast. We had the a lot kids, of fun. the 4-H, everything about it, hanging with everybody. You know, I, I mean, and they got a little competitive. We, did, we, we didn't win. I think they cheated. We want to thank Jackie and everyone else down there that let us come down there and join in the fun. It was yes. so much fun. It really was. And thank you so much for the gamos. And we had you know, the blast. big thing is, is this is, again, it does. you don't have to go moose hunting, caribou, no. elk, white-tailed deer. You can have just as much fun hunting squirrels, chipmunks, whatever you're doing. Right. Back home with the family. Don't ever forget that, because that's what hunting's all about. That's right, and thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.